Hey, what's going on, family? Today, we're going to talk about the CNBC article. Trump media is a scam. And people buying his stock are dopes. This is what Barry Diller is saying. He's trying to put the people on blast about Trump media. This man is like, y'all crazy if y'all think that Trump media is a buy. Because clearly, it's not a buy. Let's see it. Trump media is a quote, a scam, and people buying this high flying stock are dupes. IAC chairman Barry Diller said on CNBC when asked about the social media company backed by Trump. Quote, they're buying it for other reasons, just like they bought theaters when there was no theater business or bought GameStop. End quote. This is what Diller's saying. He's trying to equate this Trump media stock with AMC and GameStop. You, you guys see how that ended, right? Did you see how AMC ended with its meme coin status? Look at this. Look at this. Wow. Look at that. Yeah, it was great for a small span of time for AMC. Market did a massive short squeeze, but then the insiders came through and took away the buy button and completely let the air out the balloon they're trying to say well i ain't gonna say they i'm gonna say barry is trying to say that trump media is gonna go the same direction so at the high of amc look at this back here on june 3rd 2021 all the way to where it is now it's about 100 <laughs> percent loss in value trump media gonna do the same thing because if so this is the easiest short in the world easiest Trump is the majority shareholder in Trump media the owner of the truth social app that he frequently uses he's the so he uses his own social media app more than anybody else he also is the majority shareholder of the stock in Trump media go figure right well how would the people benefit this man owns half of the stock in Trump media. He uses True Social more than anybody else. Nobody's going over there to use the app. So how can people make money? Well, if this is going to be the chart direction in Trump media, people are going to make their money when the value decreases in Trump media. They're going to short the mess out this stock because it's not making money. True Social Trump media is not making any money. Trump media is, quote, a scam and people buying this high flying stock are, quote, dupes. I didn't say it. This man said it. Look at him. He's the one to calling y'all out. This man, the one calling y'all out. He's saying if you buy the stock, you are a dupe. This is he's a, an Expedia chairman. He said Thursday in a scathing takedown of a social media company whose majority shareholder is president, former president Donald Trump. Quote, I mean, it's ridiculous. End quote. Dilla said on CNBC Squawk Box when asked about Trump media. Quote, the company has no revenue. That there alone tells you that this stock should not be trading at where it is. It's not making any money. Then he goes on to write or say, quote, it's a scam. It's just like everything he's ever been involved in, in some sort of con, he said of Trump. Look at the history of Trump and his businesses. Just look at it. Do a quick search on Google and see how many successful businesses does this man actually operate or run and how many went bankrupt, how many went belly up. What direction do you think? Trump media is going to go. A Trump media spokeswoman in response to Dilla comments said, quote, it is unsurprising to see diehard Trump haters and left wing flags blow a gasket now that Truth Social has become a public company that still today refuses to suppress political expression that contradicts the narratives they want to enforce, end quote. That doesn't 
prove anything about the value of the stock Trump media you see that when, when you have nothing that's the thing you say right there no one is trying to make this into a political situation we're talking about Trump media not making no money is bringing in no revenue the expensive they have more money flowing out the business than they do have money coming in but you got a spokeswoman from Trump media trying to take a turn on political talk makes sense let make it make sense that's how you know you're beat it's when you cannot talk about the points the context of what this article is really trying to insinuate we're talking about the stock Trump media is making no money CNBC has requested comment from the spokesman for Trump who is the presumptive Republican presidential nominee when Trump media began trading last week with the ticker DJT its share price rocketed up 50 percent to close to $80 before selling it down so right now if it traded at $80 it's at 40 now so it already lost 50 percent of the value 50 percent gone evaporated in a couple of days so you already know that the short sellers in this stock is already smiling cheesing looking like this is easy money because I bet you there's not that many people willing to buy this stock than there are people willing to sell it talk about Barry Bill Diller he compared the price run up of Trump media to the quote meme stock end quote frenzy in 2021 when the price of GameStop soared to nearly $500 per share and AMC Entertainment a movie theater company saw its price skyrocket more than $700. GameStop shares were selling for less than $12 per share in early trading Thursday morning. And AMC shares were just 3 bucks. So they went from $500 to $700 respectively. And now they're trading at $12 and 3. Boom. All you do got to simply wait. Be patient. If nothing changes in terms of the internals, business fundamentals, and Trump media, it's going to go the same way as AMC and GameStop. If they cannot bring in more revenue, the stock is doomed. Quote, I think they're dopes. End quote, Dilla said when asked why people are buying the company stock. Who is buying the stock? Now, let's keep it real. If you're going to buy the stock, then you're suspecting that the stock is going to increase in value. OK. Don't do it for no other purposes than that. You making money. OK. Don't do it as some support of Donald. Don't do it for any other reasons outside of you. Taking control of your own interests making money don't try to save Donald don't try to save Trump media if you're not going to win then don't do it we're here to win we're here to make money for ourselves this is the stock market this is what it's all about it's for you to win not Donald not this guy but personally you you need to have more interest in yourself and your well-being over anything and anybody when you're coming into the stock market. Don't care about nothing else. Do what's best for you. Because Barry and Donald and the individuals who work for Trump Media understand they're going to do what's best for them. Because last time I checked, I don't think neither one of these people reached out to you and asked for your opinion. Did they? Did they come and call you up and say, hey, what do you think about Trump media? How, how do you think we can bring in more revenue for this business? Have they called you up? I mean, Trump has majority shareholder of the stock in the first place. And he understandably, once that lockup period is through, Trump is going to sell a mess out of them stocks. That's just my opinion. Because he's in it 
for himself. And he's not going to get none of those proceeds that he gets off the selling of his stake to you. You're going to be left holding the bag, wondering and saying that's messed up. How could he do that to us? Well, I mean, you got people give you a heads up right now. A lot of people's talking about how Trump media is not worth the price that it's currently going at. When you look at this on the weekly chart, look at that. Look how we ended last week. Down 35%. Here it is on the two weeks. Look at that. Here it is on the three. Five. So we've already predicted, that's our prediction, is that Trump media is going to continue to go lower. We got this area right here as a buy zone into the market in Trump media. So definitely there's a chance we may see a bounce occur in the market in Trump media. But once people begin to do their research, once they begin to run the calculations and see, okay, they lost this much money. They brought in that much. This should be the value of the stock. No one will come in by the stock at higher prices then until it comes down to those particular levels. And then as we get more SEC reports, as we get more earnings to be released, then they would recalculate and see what the price should be then. If they continually lose money, the stock has no other place but to go down. What else do they have to offer? It's not like with Elon Musk and Tesla. Tesla was actually creating a tangible product, manufacturing EV vehicles. And people knew at some point they could break even. At some point, this full self-driving capability that they're trying to create will come to fruition. Like people are placing their bets on those hopes. What hope do you see in Trump media, though? If people leave Trump media or Truth Social, what else do they have in the bag that would bring people back to the stock? Because right now I don't see anything. And with so many things going on in Trump's life, I don't think he is really worried about this right there. I just don't. He has too many other things that's bogging his mind, his mind. That's more important than running the daily operations of true social and Trump media. I don't know. I want your perception. Give me your thoughts on where you think this stock is going to end. Because I'm not changing my price prediction. I'm going to keep it just like this. I'm not changing it. I think the price is still aimed to go lower. I just don't know how low it's going to go, though. So how about you guys drop me a comment and tell me where you think price is going. Make sure you maintain the profitability. And as always, trade different.